okay, here's a quick guide on how to use Classic UO with the new launcher, and I'm going to show you how to set it up with Razor Enhanced. So you go to classicuo.edu, it should bring you to this page, download it for your operating system, I'm showing you on Windows. Click this, it will download this right here. Then we go to our downloads. Go ahead and open that up. If you're using 7-zip, you'll see this window. If you're using just the Windows Explorer, you'll see this. Now go to the directory you want it to be in. I have a secondary drive, so I'm going to put mine here. Create a new folder. New folder. I name mine Classic UL Launcher. Go ahead and copy all these files and just drag them in here, and it'll copy everything over in here. And we're good to go. Once you're there, you find the application, the exe, classicuolauncher.com. You can go ahead and launch that now, or if you want to create a shortcut for it, you can do, go pin to start. So I have mine right here. So we can either launch it from here or the start. I'll go ahead and launch it from here. This brings up this. Let's go ahead and click check for updates. What that will do is it will download this classic UL folder inside of this folder. From there, we go in our classic UL folder, and there won't be this folder immediately. So what you want to do first is you can create a new folder and name it data. And this is assuming that you already have another installation of classic UL. If you don't, you can skip this um, to a later step. But we already have one, so I'm going to go in my data folder. And I'm going to go to my old class QO folder, which is in here. And I want to copy over my profiles. I already have it, so I'm not going to. Client. Um, that'll populate on its own. You don't have to worry about it. Create a new folder called plugins. And from there, you're going to, so this is still in the launcher folder. And I'm going to go back to, this is my previous um, Razor Enhanced install. I'm going to go into plugins, right click, drag over here, and I'm going to copy it here. I've already done this as well, so it's already there. So that's all the back end stuff, should be ready to go. Now we go back to the launcher. Now we don't have a profile, so we're going to create one. Go ahead and name this new profile. Server IP is going to be login.uoforever.com, port 2599, UOPath. We want to choose our UO installation, which if you're using UO Forever, um, it'll be wherever you told it to install, which where did I tell mine? There it is. It'll be in UO Forever UO. Um, its default is C program 86 UO forever UO, but you should know where your UO install installation is. It'll verify it has a little check mark. Good to go. We go over to plugins page, click add, and this should populate inside of this folder or maybe the classic UO folder, but it's that classic UO folder that you made. Classic UO data plugins, razor enhanced, razor enhanced. We save the profile. And I like don't like login music, so we can save that. Go back, choose our profile, click launch, and we're good to go. Some other cool things that you can do that I've noticed. So we go to edit profile. You can put in your username and password here. And then you can go to character name. So if you wanted to log in directly to a character, you could uh, put your character name, notice it's case sensitive, and hit auto login. If you have your password and username here, it'll log you in directly to that character so you won't see the, um, the server selection or anything like that, which is pretty cool. But I'm not gonna show you how to do that because I don't wanna type my passwords.